How's it going folks? This is Wayne Orr back for another lesson and a bit of vintage stereo phonics today. Local boy in the photograph. Absolutely love this tune. In fact, I personally think that's when the stereo phonics were at the best. Those first two albums at the height of Britpop. What an amazing time for music. Uh, this is a great song. Works really well acoustically. Uh, there is one bar chord in, but I always say if you are a beginner, it's always take good, you know, maybe good to take a song on that just contains one bar chord. But uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, and first of all, the intro, we're going to want the G chord. Now, it's up to you what G chord you use, but I prefer to use the four finger G, you know. Those that are regular to my videos know that I use that one load, you know. So we've got a G for a bar, we've got a B minor, we've got a C for two bars, and then we're going to go with D. And then this little. Okay, so what that bit is, after the D, we go to a C add nine. We go to a G slash B, which is basically leaving the two fingers on the bottom, but we put the first finger on the second fret on the A string. And then we're going to go to an A minor seven. So those who aren't familiar with an A minor seven, that's basically an A minor where you're going to take your third finger off. So again, with that intro, we got the G, and the B minor. C, two bars, then we're going to go D, and then that little. Okay, that carries on the same through the verse. We've got the G, B minor, and C. It's that time of year. Back to the G, B minor, and C. Clocks go back. Same the G, B minor, and the C for two bars. Verse three, a pebble beach or underneath. Here has just been painted red, and I heard the news for the first time. Okay, so this is why we're going to want something a little bit different. Uh, this is the middle bit, so we're going to go to an E minor. Down there. We're going to want a D sus2, so that's basically a D that you take your third finger off. Sit on the bank and we're going to want that A minor 7 again. So a good thing we left. C, the local boy, and then you're back into your G. B minor, and you see, verse 4. And what this is the bit that's similar to the bit at the end of the intro where we do the D. Well, this time we go C add nine, G slash B, and back to the C add nine. So we start C add nine, G slash B, C add nine. Ba, 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 ba. And the last time, and that's it's going to do that four times, and it's going to go. A minor seven, and I'm back into the verse again. It's no mistake, smell that smell. It's that time of year again. I can taste the air. Yeah. The clocks go back, the railway track, something blocks the line again, and the train. Like that intro, we go the D, C add nine, G slash B, C add nine, and this time we go back into that middle again. So we got the E minor, and all the friends lay down. D sus two, round the bang, so A minor seven, to call the thing that's on a C, local boy, and then we got the G, B minor C, two times rounds. Okay, and the 
again, then we go back to that D. C add 9, G slash B back to C add 9. Third time, A minus 7. And we finish on the G. Okay, so that's pretty much, well that is everything chord wise, that is the meat and potatoes of the song. So uh, the strumming pattern, so the strumming pattern I think works pretty well through this tune because you know most of the bar most of the chords go a bar you know except for the C which goes two bars so it'd be like a down down up down up down up down down up down up down up so down down up down up down up really straightforward strumming pattern Okay, obviously it's so on the bits where we you know we do the C R nine G slash B we could just go into down strokes down 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 Okay and that is pretty much all you're gonna need. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Hope you all dug that. Uh, like I said in the intro, I absolutely love the, the old vintage stereophonic songs. I think, you know, those first two albums are going to have a job to edit the top then. Even though I still love the stereophonics and, you know, they're a great band live, loads of energy. I love Kelly's voice. But I think those first two albums at the height of Britpop were just, were just amazing. Some amazing songs on there. So if you've got any requests for any other stereophonics tunes or, you know, anything in particular, 50s to modern day, Regulars to my channel know I'm a huge Manchester music fan, so you know if there's any Oasis or Stone Roses or The Smiths or, or any other Manchester bands that I've missed, you know, please leave a comment in the post below or a good way to reach me these days. If you go over on Facebook, I like my page, which is Wayne R Guitar. I'm also under the same name on Twitter. And you can drop me a message as long as it's a nice message, mind. And uh, Thanks for all your messages, you know, really do appreciate it. If, you're, if you have requested a song and it hasn't been up yet, I have got quite a long list and I'm sort of working my way through it, trying to put up, you know, whatever I can. I've had loads of requests for obviously more stereophonic songs, so this is one of my personal favourites, so I thought I'd post this up. But uh, thanks everyone who subscribed, I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, I hope you enjoy my lessons. Uh, please spread the word, you know, we're slowly getting there with subscribers. Um, but obviously, uh, I wish to continue doing this, you know, for, for a long time. I, I love doing this, and it's you guys that keep me going with your great messages and obviously your great requests. So uh, until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon. Take care.